everybody. My name is Madison. My name is Lauren. I'm Max. My name is Jenna T. My name is Amina. My name is Brian. My name is Amari Love. I can't wait to show you guys around today. This is what I like to call the academic hub of campus. Starting over here, we have Medbury Hall, so this is home of honors. But then back there, we have a really pretty, cool new building. It's called Collier Scripps. If you keep going, we have Olin over here, Science Connector Building, which is another new building, and then Klein and Harvey Ingham right over here. This is the Science Connector Building, and it's all state-of-the-art equipment, so it's really awesome. Walking through the science buildings, you see a lot of these types of posters um, hanging up. Um, these are actually student research that are mentored by uh, faculty. It's an awesome resume builder. It's an awesome way to get experience into the field that you're trying to get into. So here we are in the top of the Science Connector building. Uh, we've got an awesome view of the Blue Oval. So this is really awesome for science students to have all these buildings connected since you spend a lot of time here. Meredith Hall, home to the School of Journalism and Mass Communication. But we'll have a lot of different classes in here. Also home to our radio station, our podcast studio. A lot of fun stuff inside. The Iowa caucuses just happened here and Drake was lucky enough to have all the presidential candidates come to Drake's campus. They all also got the pleasure of meeting Grant, so yes, love that. <laughs> So this is the Olmsted Center. This is the center of student life on campus of our Student <laughs> Services Center. This is all things if you need a Drake ID, if you need a parking pass, anytime you come visit campus or need any resource, this is a great place to start. So this is the new Starbucks. I like to say it's stealing business from the library because this is where people like to study. You can get whatever you want here. You can even spend your flex dollars which come in through meal swings. We're going to talk about Free Movie Friday, and this is where it happens. So we'll bring in movies every Friday that are really popular. We have bags of popcorn, usually some good snacks, and we all hang out and watch a movie. So this right here is Underground Fitness. Um, this is our student-only workout facility on campus. Oh, look, it's my friend Carmen. This is an opportunity for on-campus jobs for students. They can sit at the desk and kind of supervise. You'll come in, you'll swipe your ID, you put yourself in the little cubbies over there, and then, you know, you can get to working out, getting in the grind. Fun fact about Helmet Commons that I like to share, we actually broke the world record for the world's largest silly string fright right behind me. Beginning of the fall semester and towards the end of the spring semester is movie night under the stars. So basically it's the same thing as Free Movie Friday, but you know, you bring your fuzzy blanket and lay it out, you know, get a nice scenery, big blow up screen, and you have a movie night. It's a little bit warmer on campus. You'll always find me out here throwing a frisbee around and playing <laughs> spike ball. Um, and that's what a lot of students like to do out here as well. Alright, so we're coming up to Quad Creek Cafe. I just call it Quad for short, most people do. This is the burrito station. You can get a burrito, a bowl, a taco, nachos. I love the sandwich station. I always get a meatball stuff when I come here. Um, my favorite thing is that Quad is open really late. So back when I lived in Carpenter, which you can see through the windows over there, five minutes before it closed, 1 a.m., I would just bolt over here, give me a good Quad chicken wrap. This is the Sea Store. Another perk just like Quad is open really late. Um, my favorite probably is right over here. You come in, get a quick little pack of Oreos. Hop in line and swipe my ID with my flex and get my Oreos. Get in the hammocks. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Front desk. The front desk will help you if you have any packages, if you need to check out pots and pans, if you want to check out a game, if your roommate locks you out of your room, you can come down here. The nice thing about the first year residence halls is that all first years get their own mailboxes, so any letters from home come straight to the students. You gotta keep your clothes clean, right? Each one has some dryers, and then the washers are right here. So the way your floor assignments are made is based off of your first year seminar. Everyone in your FY school essentially live on the same floor as you. We'll go check out some tour rooms. But we have them all decorated so you can kind of get an idea of how you can decorate to make it feel like home. And for each person, you get a bed, desk, wardrobe, and dresser. If you want a couch, you got to bring one. I'd recommend it. <laughs> a lot of times people like to divvy up who wants to bring a microwave or fridge. Um, but it's a really great way to first start talking to your roommate and figure out plans of how you're going to figure out living situations. So the beds do come lofted this high. It's actually pretty nice because it encourages you not to like nap during the day and actually get stuff done. But if you are someone who does not like to sleep close to the ceiling, you can lower it all the way down here if you would like to. 
So another living option that we have, other than the triple and the double that I was talking about, is you can come in and live in a single. There is no lofting of your bed, but you can decorate it all the same. So many other clubs and intramurals for different sports, whatever you want to be interested in. So this is the NAP Center. This is where Bulldog Pride comes alive. Yes. We've got basketball games, volleyball games. The Bucks Bomb Lecture happens in here. All of those fun athletic or professional events, you can come right to the NAP Center. Great thing to note about our home games is they're all free for students. You just gotta swipe your ID to get in. All right, so right now we're gonna head into our fitness room. This is open to staff, faculty, students, and the community. You can see the equipment we have, whether you want to run, get some cardio, lift some weights. And then this is our multi-purpose recreation room. My favorite thing in here, we have Group X fitness classes. So you can take Zumba, you can take hip-hop, cardio, all those fun things as a group, totally free of charge. Mm -hmm. 